Yeah, it's surprising that you're only partially. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh. What a cunt. G- oh. God, chill out. Chill out. <laughs> right, shut up. Let's do a podcast. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Fuck not, on Raps. That is not anti Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> so, saying that Jews don't eat pork isn't anti Semitic. <laughs> <sighs> no, but it's you saying it, so that automatically makes it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Fruck Unwrapped, the official podcast of Food Review UK. My name is Nathan Peterson. And tonight you're going to hear three very British dudes talking about tacos, pretending they know what they're talking about. But first, if this podcast was a taco, he'd be the filling because he's meaty and he's the star of the show. It's Stuart Bullock. <laughs> I like that. That's very good. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really good, man. I'm really good. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. I'm, I'm glad that you're my filling tonight. Oh. Take that however you wish. Yeah. Wow. You'd be my shell. <laughs> Sexually. And if this was a taco, then the next guy would have to be the tortilla. As the founder of Food Review UK, he provides the base upon which this show could be built. He's also white and lacking in taste. It's Michael Jameson. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fantastic. Let us begin. Always always gotta be a little stinger in there. I can't I can't just let a nice little compliment be there, can I? Oh, was that not a compliment? <laughs> Moving on, uh, finally, to continue the metaphor of this show being a taco, our guest would probably be the customer buying it because he's promised he's going to eat us all afterwards. Please welcome our American friend, Mr. Logan James. What's up, gentlemen? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I am good. The promise to eat us all is still standing, right? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the things you'll say to get on a podcast. It's true. <laughs> um welcome to the show thank you for having me uh for those who don't know you which i suspect might be a few of them um of you're people. one of the ho- exactly you're you're one of the hosts over at bingemedia.net with your own show i am Small it's screen. a weird thing to hear that i'm a host but yeah well you are i mean you you've been a legit uh host over there for a few months now six months or so maybe more give or take yeah yeah matt's not my strong suit <laughs> uh well we'll get, get to quivers uh shortly um <laughs> You've also got your own show, Small Screen Heroes, where you talk about all things comic book related. But one of uh, we talk about one of Michael Jameson's uh, famous uh, favorite comic books, uh, Invincible, on that show. Uh, yeah, he's, he was just mentioning the news just before we came on, which he's, he's incredibly pleased about. Yes, but that's, what, you that's, guys... it's not something we're talking about here. We're talking about food things. No, you can have a little bonding session about Invincible. Go ahead. No, nah, that's all right. You're, you're right, fuck the comic. Um, wow, no, everyone read Invincible immediately. Make sure you No, can. it's really good. It is really good. Read uh, it before the Amazon animated TV series that I'm sure will last a very long time. Am- 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 um, <laughs> the main reason you're on here, though, is you are a major foodie, aren't you? I am. I do like food. It keeps, uh, keeps me living. We're obviously going to get onto tacos shortly, which is what you uh, asked to talk about tonight. Um, but tell us a little bit about like your your what other sort of foods that you love, and uh, whether there's any sort of moment or any dish or anything that sort of made you fall in love with food. Obviously, not fall uh, in love with, it, with your fiance. Yeah, this is a, it's a it's a loaded question. Um, yeah. Well, I was a uh, was a that was a like wee lad, like a loaded taco. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a uh, when I was a wee lad, I was uh, the um, very uh, basic cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, pasta kind of kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I got older, I was, uh, was introduced to the finer things in life, like uh, calamari mm-hmm. and sushi. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Nate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was actually just recently listening to the Heaven and Hell episode, and that was the one you put in hell. So. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's one of my uh, it's one of my favorite foods, but I guess I, I could say I became a serious foodie around college when I when I opened my my eyes up to new things like uh, Indian food and, and Japanese food and stuff like that. So I would say you know in my my late teens is where I really branched out and tried new things. Um, but I'm very basic when it comes to I love my burgers, I love my pizza, and I love my tacos. Mm. Which is what we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, but I'm also a man of culture. I like Chinese food. 
Uh, <laughs> I like Japanese food, and um, I'm, I'm a fan of um, I'm a fan of um, many genres of food. I'm not a picky person, although I hate peas. So oh, terrible. <laughs> no, maybe I'm not on the right show anymore. Mm. You mentioned um, you mentioned like Indian food. There. There's a question that I, I asked um, a mutual friend of ours, Alex, who's been yes. on the show when I was in Chicago last year. Indian food. What's the reputation that it has over there? Because I, I don't know. I only ever see comments on TV shows or, or, or movies where they sort of uh, basically take take the Mickey out of it and say that it smells bad and stuff like that. I don't. I don't know whether it's got a big reputation over there. Because in the UK, it's a huge um, cuisine. Um, I don't think it's as uh, as popular as your your Japanese or your your Mexican food. Um, I think it's it kind of has an underground following, if you will. Mm. Um, I'm a fan of curry. I do like spicy food, not super spicy, but I'm a fan. Also, naan is fantastic. But I'm mm. also just a, a lover of bread, um, garlic bread, regular bread, tortillas, mm. uh, flat bread, not flat bread. <laughs> <laughs> technical term um but yeah uh no it's not as it's not as big in in america um i think it's it's got its followers and that's pretty much it either it's it's like anything else you love it or you don't um but i'm a fan um i've actually uh my fiance and i have talked about getting dosa which is i think a southern mm. indian food which i've never right. had but I'm, I'm very intrigued to try so good so yeah. good yeah not sure i've tried it um yeah they're they're, they're almost like um a quite pancake. a stiff, a stiff pancake. Yeah, yeah. they're. Um... Oh, there was never a nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they are amazing. There's a um, there's a chain of vegetarian Indian uh, food chain. I think it's I think it's just in the north at the moment called Bundabust, and they do epic like uh, doses. They're amazing. Uh, I've heard them compared to almost like a crepe. Yeah, crispier. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. and, but but really really good and they're often served with like um, a nice uh, a broth a vegetable broth as mm. well really good. Do you say they're only in the, the south of the they're only in North England because I've seen them. What Bundabust? Mm. Have you? Yeah, I saw one in Blackpool the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you, I mean, two things. I don't think there's a Bundabust in Blackpool. <laughs> there isn't as far as I'm aware. Right. Are you are you trying to be funny or something? What's... Sort of, yeah. I suppose funny slash dick. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, basically what's going gonna... Every day. Yeah. <laughs> what he has written on his gravestone. Um... <laughs> well, hang on. Were you, were you legitimately in Blackpool again a couple of days ago? Yeah. Again? again? <laughs> you what? So, like, in the last <laughs> couple of months, you've been, like, 45 minutes away from me and you didn't come and see me? Sort of, yeah. You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> uh, I hate you. If you haven't forgotten, uh, Stuart, he didn't you. invite you to the Stoke do either. No, he didn't, no. 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 Um, Logan. Yes. Let's get, the, get this back on track. Um, as a regular listener of the show, you will know that we often ask our guests uh, three random questions. Mm-hmm. So please give me three numbers between the numbers one and ten. Uh, two, four, and six. Two, four, six. Uh, would you rather eat chocolate? This comes up a lot. Uh, would you rather eat chocolate flavored poo or poo flavored chocolate? Chocolate flavored poo. Oh, you disgusting man! I think either <laughs> way, it's I'm not winning. Well, no, I mean one way you're actually eating poo, the other way you're eating chocolate. I mean it's a very clear right and wrong here. Yeah, but nah. it's poof, I feel it's poo flavored. Oh, you would rather eat. You'd rather eat something. This is, I'm, you'd this rather is off eat to a great start. That actually did come out of someone's anus, <laughs> rather than something that just tastes bad. It's, yeah, American. No, no, Stuart. Let him yeah, Americans. I think we need to rotate this question out. It just grosses me out a little bit. <laughs> well, in which case, I'm going to make all ten questions it now. <laughs> well, that's ruined number two and three, isn't it? Four and six. Well. <laughs> Um, miracle, so. Number four, Logan. Do you have any weird food quirks? Uh, I think I've prepared myself mentally for this question. So, are Doritos a thing in the UK? Yep, they sure are. Okay. So, I actually bonded with a friend over this once. 
I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I also like to put Doritos of the nacho cheese variety on them and eat them. Ooh. So, mm-hmm. peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Jelly. <laughs> MJ's face is selling it all. And and very incredibly cheesy crisps. Yes. Crisps. Mm. Yes, crisps. Not chips. Crisps. Not chips. Not on this show, my man. We're going to try and accommodate you. Let me put a U after every O in the morning. <laughs> if, if you're good. Um, well. MJ, wait, your face. I don't know if you're more intrigued or, or disgusted. He wouldn't eat, yeah, he, he wouldn't eat that. That's too <laughs> out there. MJ, MJ has basically a bit of a thing where he doesn't like crisps that have uh, too much flavouring on them. Oh, okay. Um. Mm. You, you, you told me once, we were eating, you, I brought a packet of crisps around yours to review, and you genuinely said, I'm scared to try these. And they were all they were was basically tomato flavoured. Yeah, gross. Flavouring. <laughs> Um, also, to uh, to tack on really quick, Nate, I think I'm kind of like you, where I eat my food in segments. Good man. I, I'm starting to realize it's not hugely weird. Yeah, like I'll eat my French fries before I'm eating my burger. I don't like, mm, I don't yeah. go back and forth. Or if I have Thanksgiving, it's like I kind of go by, not even like worst to least, because I think that's what your your preference yeah. is. I just kind of like move my way around the plate. That's fine. I'm, no yeah. one has, you don't have to live by my rules, my man. <laughs> I, I don't. I'd um, just like to encourage our listeners to follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Fruckgram because I'm going to post a picture of my reaction to Logan's Doritos comment on there. Good. Um, number six. <laughs> can't, can't, but there you go, folks. That's good. And you can't even promote your own services without getting ridiculed by your colleagues. <laughs> How did I ridicule you? I just said good. Swept aside with the with the, it was like your your hand was the word good, and you just went <laughs> swept to one side from as quick as it came from whence it was. Oh, I'm disgusted. Good. Um, number six: food from your childhood that you miss. Oh. Could be anything. Doesn't have to be a. a, a that goes too could... far, right, Mike? <laughs> Don't remind me of the Ghostbusters fucking thing. There was a, like a, uh, I would say like almost a, a kind of like a pie that the, they used to sell that was in like, it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and it was like a, like a pie that had like, it was green favored uh, cream or I guess custard in it. And I would get that every Sunday after church with, with my mom. And I kind of wish they brought it back just to kind of uh, to relive it one more time. So what sort of flavoring was it? I think it was just like kind of a Bavarian or if you, you want to go more American Boston cream style. Oh. like Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're Ninja Turtles. Oh, oh fucking hell. It was um, green and, though, wasn't it? It was, it was green. It was green. Yeah, it was green cream. That sounds, so, that sounds so bad when I say it out loud. For everyone who's not on this podcast, MJ's currently recording from his floor. I don't know. I don't know what's happened, but he's sat on his floor. Thank you very much, Logan, for your answers. Yeah. We've uh, got to know you a little better. Yes. Um, just very briefly before we move on to tonight's subject, uh, did you guys, anyone, have any brief news? I might have a piece, depending on what your piece is. <laughs> oh. It sounds personal. Not, yeah, it's not the first time I've heard that. I doubt very much that it's the same piece, uh, so I'll do my one first. Okay. Um, Even though this, mine's more appropriate. Carry on. Well, if it's more appropriate, then it'll fit in with the rest of the segment even better. It'll dovetail yeah. even better. So Perfect. Um, Sainsbury's are trialling a new relaxed lane at one of their stores in... Uh, Scotland. Um, it's designed to cater oh. for the elderly or people with an inverted commas invisible illness that means that they need more time, care, and attention at the till rather than regular shoppers. Uh, not a funny story or anything particularly interesting, but I just thought in this day and age of hatred and vitriol and Trump and Brexit and everything, it'd be nice to tell a lovely little story about Sainsbury's trying to help those that need a little bit of extra help. I guess uh, stoners could use it as well, couldn't they? Jason has just walked past. (laughs) (laughs) 
Sorry. Sorry, attacked me for going for, with a news story that wasn't relevant to the subject, but then decided just to interrupt and just talk about it, Jason. Well, I don't know why I didn't look up at me, but um, that's that's very good. Stoners will use it. Old elderly people use it. People with invisibility. In, I think you said invisible. <laughs> was it invisible in, power invisibil- or invisible cloak? Invisibility, yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll use it. I think that's great. Uh, so no doubt Harry Potter will be knocking around in there. No, I think it's very good. I, I think it's very good idea. I think it's important that old, you know, old men and women, uh, or old gender fluid people that can't uh, sort of pick up tea bags and whatnot. I think it's important they have an outlet to actually buy their favourite beverage. So yeah, well done. I think you said Tesco. Well done, Tesco. Good on you. Yeah, definitely Tesco. Not Sainsbury's. Uh, what's your news story? Uh, Michael, I think Logan a second ago was uh, suggesting that he enjoyed the brand Doritos. 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 Well, after a storming success in the United States and Canada, uh, Doritos collisions are coming to the UK. Ah, I, I saw our good friend's um, products in store posting about this yesterday. Uh, I, I saw it the day before they posted it because I saw it on the uh, on the website. Uh, talking retail. Yes, folks, on some food news outlets, you get the sauce. Um, <laughs> uh, they're releasing in a couple of flavours. So uh, the, the gimmick with these is that you get two flavours in one bag. So you, you could either say they're releasing... With two flavors or four, depending on how you look at it. Uh, Didn't they do this before? Uh, I think they, you're thinking of heat burst, yeah, which is one flavor that transformed into another, whereas these are two separate chips indicated by color. Huh. Uh, so you got habanero chili and guacamole. Oh yes, in one bag. Uh, the other bag, I'm actually very intrigued by honey glazed ribs. Ooh. Mm. And lemon blast. I have never what? seen these flavors in America. God damn it! It's interesting. We've got some exclusivity there. It but is, are you is it... with collisions? Yes, I've actually had the. I believe I'm actually looking up right now. I've had the thematic zesty taco and chipotle ranch. Wow! And they're quite delicious. Nice. Um, I'm also looking at the other flavors. They have hot wings and blue cheese, pizza mm. cravers, and ranch. And and what 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 are pizza cravers? Uh, it's made by people who crave pizza. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there's a cheesy enchilada and a zesty salsa. Mm. Oh wow! So we've done all right there, getting some. You, you guys are yeah, kicking some ass over there. I'm yeah. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come visit and not abandon Stuart and visit him too, even though I was Correct. 45 minutes away from him. Correct. Go there. Go there. They can Go yell there. about how I don't put my Funko Pops in boxes. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to actually go to Products in Store to find that image, um, you can find them on Instagram, but they have actually deleted the image, which means they probably stole it like they steal everything else. Oh, um, so weird. Such a weird group of people. Isn't it? Um, moving on, let's get on to uh, tonight's subject of tacos. But first, let's do a little quivia. Quivia. Quiv- quivia. Quivia. Yes. Time to play a game. Let's play a game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, close. I mean, it is a game. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, I've got old school with this. This is proper quivia. This is proper trivia. No. What are no, you trying to say? What are you trying no, to no, say? No, about no, no, no. No, I've, I've done the same as you, Stuart. We've, we've sort of both of us have veered into the world of trying alternative types of quizzes. <laughs> This is this is a proper five question, question and answer format. Piff paff poof. Right. Piff, number one. 
Stuart will know Piff Paff Poof. <laughs> the great Soprendo. That's, <laughs> that's a deep reference, man. <laughs> Hang on, he was, wasn't he married to Victoria Wood? Uh, possibly. Yeah, I think he was. I think he was. Someone yeah. famous. Yeah. Yeah. Logan's lost right now. He has no yeah. idea what's going nope. on. Yeah. Like David Copperfield, but better in English. <laughs> okay. Basically. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, question number one. According to Taco Bell's website, they serve an average of 295 million pounds of ground beef every year. But Not honestly, enough, I knew. I, I should have written it in. I knew you was going to make a fucking dog. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I do it every time, mate. Um, but roughly, how many cows worth of beef does this relate to? I'm going to start with our guest, Logan. How many cows of beef is 295 million pounds? Jesus Christ. Uh... Try to work work out if I weigh about the same as a cow or not. (laughs) (laughs) And there's our podcast title. Uh, There you go. Um, 295 295 pounds of ground beef. 295 million. Oh, 295 million pounds. It's a lot different. All right, I'm going to go with... I will say a number. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking. Uh, I'll say 150. Oh, you was, bastard. One, yeah, I, knew, I knew Quivia was going to be my, my downfall on the show. Can I, can I just confirm? 150 cows? Yes. <laughs> 150. Okay. Yeah. You gotta take his answer there. Okay. Yeah. Michael? Not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 295 million pounds. 295 yeah. million pounds. Well, you gotta think. Okay, so the average <laughs> cow probably weighs how many pounds in a ton? 500 or 1,000 or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 500 difference or something. <laughs> Is one imperial, is one metric? metric? Am I, yeah, am I being bamboozled or something? Summer. Uh, right, okay, so there's, uh, there's probably what? A, a human male weighs, I hear that they weigh between 150 and 300 pounds. So let's say Oof. this. Oh, inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> let's, say, let's say the average human is 220 pounds. So the average cow is 660 pounds. So it's. So how? Five hundred thousand cows. No. Right. no, no, hang on, no, 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 no. I'm thinking out loud. Two hundred, two hundred ninety-five million pounds. So I've got, to, I've got to divide that by six hundred. Uh, no, I've got to divide that by. <laughs> I need, to, no. I need some, I need some. I mean, I genuinely thought you'd all just pull a fucking figure out of there rather than trying to. Just to clarify, I wrote a figure down before Logan started on an hour in, and I'm intending to stick with that figure, so... Uh, okay, okay we, we, right. In which I'm case, you can, you can hold it up. Nine five two nine five zero 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 zero. That's a, that's twenty two hundred ninety five okay. million divided by 600 and... Yeah, divided by 660, and that'll give the cowage. Four... <laughs> <laughs> four, right... Uh, I feel like this is wrong. This is wrong. This this is so wrong. Four hundred and forty six thousand cows. It sounds okay. too many. Sure, it can you confirm the? Can you confirm many. the number you wrote down? Because this, this is regardless <laughs> of the actual result of this. This is fucking incredible, Stuart. What number did oh. you have written down? 150 million cows. So just to clarify, we have three answers of 150 <laughs> cows, 446,000 cows, or 150 million cows. <laughs> oh, this is oh, incredible. Oh, oh, oh this oh. is proven, is that we Oh, I've gone. I've made, I've made a massive mistake. No, take his I've, answer, take his answer. No, I've, said that, I've said that cows weigh two pounds, haven't I? <laughs> 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 oh god brilliant that's a qu- 
a quarter pound. You only get you only get pound. eight burgers out of a cow. You only get eight quarter <laughs> pound of burgers. <laughs> Oh, oh, right. Just to clarify, I, my answer is 150 million, but I think it's 1.5 million. So, okay, yeah. Um, you would have you would have been wrong either way. I'm afraid. Uh, the actual answer is 600 thousand or <gasps> one young mama. Um, so <laughs> MJ wins with 446 thousand. He was a mere 154 thousand off. So that's one to MJ. God forbid he wins. Couple of oh. very big fields worth of cows. That's not too bad. Indeed, indeed. Moving on. Oh. 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 MJ, come on, you might have a better one than that. Oh, I, did you not hear me? I added one under my breath. Hey. <laughs> Bullshit. As of a survey undertaken in 2014, approximately how many tacos are eaten each year in America? Uh, let's start with MJ seeing because he's winning. In one year? In one year, in 2014, this is... I mean, it might be different in 2017 and 18. Permission to get the calculator out? Uh, you may. Right, so Taco Bell stores and any other taco joint, there's probably... There's probably eight per large city, so we'll start with eight. <laughs> uh, and there's... Uh, I love actually, you say that. I mean, considering like Uxford has got th- five costas... I'd imagine a large city has more than eight Taco Bell. Yeah, maybe. But, but also you've got to factor in America is quite big, so there's a lot of smaller towns, and they've probably only got one. So say the average of every single place in America has 3.75. 3.75 times the number of places in America, probably... Pro- probably... To speak of. To speak of. Because some, some places will be so small they don't even have a Taco Bell. So to speak of, there are, I would say, 300, uh, yeah, 300, no, right, but that's, that's saying there's like a million Taco Bells in the, <laughs> do you know what, I'm going to start higher, I'm going to start my granularity higher. Stuart, how many, um, how many tacos, uh, how many tacos in, uh, oh, sorry, as of survey, it's undertaken in 2014, approximately how many tacos are eaten each year in America? Half a half a billion. So five hundred million from Stuart. Yeah. MJ, are you ready yet, or shall I go to Logan? Yeah. So I've done ninety thousand times three hundred. <laughs> Didn't uh, need assume, to know the maths. Assume it works. Always show you working out. Assuming that each branch sells three hundred tacos a day, times by the number of days. Uh, you might need to come back to me because it's quite a big number. I might need Logan? to work out. I was going to say seventy-five million. 75 million. I'm going a little bit higher with the numbers here because I feel like I have to. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Good job. <laughs> Stuart's MJ. got a penis. Um, <laughs> this, Sketch. Okay, well, Sketch the penis. This yeah. seems a lot bigger than I expected. and I'm not talking about Stuart's sketch. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a very large number and I've, I've, I have to admit that I've lost confidence in my number but i've made i've done the maths so it must just be a staggering number nine billion eight hundred and fifty five <laughs> million he's done nine, the maths hang on the nine, <laughs> nine billion eight hundred and fifty five million eight fifty five million on the dot on the dot mate okay <clears throat> So just to clarify, we have answers of 75 million, 500 million, and, <laughs> and, and 9.8 billion. Again, a massive range of, of answers there. Um, on this occasion, though, it does actually go to Stuart. The answer is... The answer is 4.5 4, 4, 4. <laughs> billion, which is nearly 85 million every Tuesday, and half the amount your mama eats. Um, so that is... One for Stuart. Yeah. Doing great. Okay, now parents here. Yeah. <laughs> right. What date is Dia del Taco, Day of the Taco, in Mexico? And seeing as Stuart Michael hasn't technically started first yet, Michael. What? You can you can put your calculator away. 
<laughs> yeah, basically, glad you asked. Basically, closest date wins. Glad you asked. Um, its origins are actually, um, it, it used to be determined when the sun would, was at its lowest point in the year. Uh, <laughs> it was summer, summer month, although summer falls slightly later in Mexico, Mexico. Um, but unfortunately, as with a lot of things, consumerism uh, is poisoning the world and it now occurs uh, when people have the most money. So it's at the end of the month when people have been paid. And uh, it's furthest away from the main holidays in uh, Mexico, which is May, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, and Christmas, which is still heavily celebrated in Mexico. So if you look between those two dates, the 5th of May, uh, May to June, June to July, July to August, August, September, September, uh, it is September the 18th. September the 18th. Fucking hell, Stuart. Um, I think it's probably. I'm gonna go. Good news is I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to calculate the fucking furthest away. January, this. February, March, April. I'm gonna go a month before Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Taco. Cinco de April. Okay. Cinco. Cinco <laughs> de April. <laughs> and I'm gonna write down April. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, that is the correct. Spanish thus, translation. Thus voiding, Finally, thus voiding the answer. Some of the answers will be false. <laughs> Finally, Logan James. I'm going to go a month after work and say June. Cinco. June Cinco. Junio. Cinco de, ju- Cinco Junio. de Juno. I think it's Junio. Cinco de Juno. Yeah, me and the, Junio the fifth, down by the schoolyard. The fifth of Ellen Page. <laughs> Um, are you going for the fifth, Logan? Yes. Okay. Didn't really matter because one of you is only five days off. <gasps> it's Michael Jameson, isn't it? Look at his little face. And that person is a man. <laughs> it's, oh, it's not. Fuck. It's not Michael. Then. <laughs> yeah. He's a man on this podcast. Oh. It's. The very Mexican Stuart Bullock. Uh, <laughs> the date is indeed thirty first of March or March thirty first for Logan. Yes. <clears throat> We're obviously good. recording. We're obviously recording this on a Tuesday. Um, obviously, you guys are listening to this on a Thursday because you'll listen the first day. You're fucking gagging for it. But we're recording um, it on Tuesday. I'm always Can gagging I- for it. What? <laughs> Can I just say, I, I was less than two weeks, or I was about ten days, from being as wrong as I could have possibly been. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be some sort of bonus point for that. Yep. But not in this game. Um, we're recording on Tuesday. How many public posts are on Instagram that include the hashtag Taco Tuesday? Oh, oh, oh. Um... I will start with Logan. Mm. How many posts on Instagram include the hashtag Taco Tuesday? Yep. Oh, Stuart's cut himself. Mm. He's so bloody sharp, that guy. Yep. Hmm. Mm. Come on, I'm a, I, I've got no idea what constitutes. I think this will be a big hashtag, but I'm not. Um, I'm not a big Instagram guy, so I, I don't really know what constitutes what constitutes like big hashtagging. It, it's like I pick questions that you guys probably wouldn't know the answer to. So to try and make yeah, how it dare you? Fair. On on the contrary. <laughs> Come on, Logan. Uh... I feel I feel like you're taking this quiz far too seriously. Yeah, you win, really you win nothing. There is no prize. We're I know. All losers my, the, no, the, the the prize is my pride. Mm. Wow, that True. is deep. That's deep. <laughs> said the man without a point. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna what, go with. Do you say without a point? What are you talking about? Four hundred fifty thousand. So, mm. Logan. Four hundred fifty thousand. Uh, let's go with Michael. I just, oh, yes, uh, I'm I, actually, 
I think that's a little high. I think a lot of Instagram hashtags are a, a little bit lower than people would expect. Mm. I'm going to say against my better judgment. So my my hunch is 177,560, but I, I think that's actually too low. So so 177,561. Now I was taking the game too seriously. <laughs> Uh, against my better judgment, I'm going to say 190. This is why this show is two hours. <laughs> <laughs> 198,305. Against my better judgment, that is. And Stuart Bullock. What did um, what did the the UK's Premier Michael Sierra impersonator say? <laughs> Listen, 450,000. 450,000 and one. <laughs> you, you naughty boy. Um, I don't know why that sounded so sexual. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is, as of currently, 2,341,294, 1. 1.4 stopped. Damn it, Stuart. Because he's a cheat. Yeah. Final question, yep. lads. Cheat, a.k.a. winner. <laughs> In May 2017, Joey Chestnut broke the world record for eating tacos in eight minutes. But how many did he eat? I'm going to start with the guy who's basically won the game already, Stuart. 24. 24 in eight minutes. Yeah. Uh, Let's go to Michael Jameson. See what I did there? I just gave an answer, boys. You could learn a lot from me. There was no woman in R and just gave an answer. 50, and I'm winning, so... 53. Oh, what's your maths on that, MJ? <laughs> um, just on... It's about 7.5 per minute. Excellent. <laughs> Logan? Just... 25. <laughs> way more. Way more. I way like more. your tactic there, but you Get chose one the down about every, about every 10 seconds, these competitive eaters. About every 10 seconds, they'll get one down. Uh... Logan did a lovely little take there, adding one on Stuart's, but he should have added one on to MJ's. The answer was a staggering 126 uh, tacos in eight minutes. Pretty small tacos. Uh, Second and third place were lagging behind with 97 and 96, respectively. Jokes. Uh, Your mama didn't compete. Right, let's get on to tacos. (laughs) Didn't even make the board. Hooray. No, that's, that, that was a shout-out for Logan. No, zero points for Logan, unfortunately. All right, I, think I won the Impossible Movie List game. I can only win one game in one month. You did. You did. Maybe next time. We'll, I'll, I'll listen to more quivies and you'll maybe be better. Uh, two for Michael <laughs> Jameson and three for Stuart. Well done, Stuart. Brain of Quivia. Thank you. Back where I belong. Yeah, I need to get you a little hat or cape or something like that to see if okay. you're... <laughs> no capes. Correct. But where will you come next time? Only you guys can find out, but we shall wait and see. That was we shall wait and see. Oh. Hello, it's MJ. You're listening to Frock Unwrapped. Please leave us a review on iTunes and check out our other exploits, which does include our Instagram page at Frockgram and our Twitter page at Food Review UK. And hey, we've got lots of awesome videos on YouTube. Thanks a lot for your support. Um, so let's talk about tacos. <laughs> um Sorry, why is he getting laughter for let's talk about taco, but I can't make a like a shell reference. Uh, so we like we like Nate, so we laugh at his jokes. Oh. Why don't you laugh at my jokes then? Spell it out for me. Spell it out for you. Okay, B L A C K P O O L. No, I said shell it out for me. Oh Jesus Christ. Let's get this on track. Logan. Hi. Mr. James. Let's get this on track. Oh, fucking hell. You requested to talk about about tacos tonight. Why? (laughs) Why not? Um, I am of the firm belief that if somebody were to 
Actually, no. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, if I was to eat one food, if I had to choose one food to eat for the rest of my life, it would be tacos. Mm-hmm. Now, I pose the question to you, gentlemen. If you were to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, you, you, you curved all of us by taking us away from taco talk. Um, quick, really quick. I'll, I'll let MJ answer because he's probably doing some maths on the on the uh, question. I I think it would have to be burgers and fries, wouldn't it? I should think. No, one food, just one. <laughs> All right, burger and fry meal <laughs> with a drink. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I, I I probably would side with MJ. I I would it would have to be burgers for me, as we all know from the episode of Burgers. They're versatile. <laughs> I think I'll probably go for a, I, I think I could probably live on burritos forever Ah uh, see he's joining me in the Mexican <laughs> Yeah Yep. So what, so what no, is it about What is it oh, sorry, go on. No no uh, you first Because you're going you're gonna to ask a question that I can easily Lead into Well I was going to say what, what, what is it about tacos That uh, that you love over I mean obviously we could say this about any food But what is it about tacos that, that made you want to talk about that Over say Mexican food as a, as a whole What is it about tacos that stands out for you I think you know, going with uh, with MJ's kind of comment about burgers, they're very versatile. You can have chicken, you can have pork, you can have beef, you can have um, fish, wow. shrimp, shrimp. Uh, bubblegum shrimp. <laughs> you can have. I've actually had meatless tacos. I've had uh, squash tacos, not where the mm. tortilla is made of squash, but there's actually squash filling. Yep. Um, mm. So I think that tacos lend themselves to a lot of uh, variabil- uh, variability and uh, just creativeness. You can have coleslaw on it, lettuce, tomato, pico de gallo, sour cream, guacamole. I mean, there's so many options you can make of, you know, tacos. So that was why I figured that it'd be a interesting topic to uh, taco about. Oh, good pun. Boom. Um, what about you guys, uh, MJ Stewart? What's what's your sort of general overview of tacos? Is it something that you've dabbled in? Is it something mm-hmm. that you have experience with? Yeah, we um, when uh, we went to um, the West Coast uh, on our honeymoon, we, we we had some good tacos there, uh, and we make tacos at home fairly regularly so they are they're definitely one of our go-to family time treat meals so it'll be maybe a saturday or a friday night when we maybe we're going to watch a film or something and we'll 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 get the tacos and get all the different bits out and it's it's a bit of an event isn't it it's it's a fun thing because you're building your taco we, we just put everything out and everyone builds the tacos you have as many as you want we have a variety of different fillings so it's a nice fun party food and we eat them we probably eat them at least once a month if not more um, oh well and, and, re- and really enjoy them yeah yeah big big tackle fans in this house what about you mj you, you've obviously got very much into burritos lately as anyone knows you will uh, testify to but what about tacos yeah they're, they're excellent they were actually what i was on before burritos in many ways uh, and not to say that they've been rotated out, they certainly haven't. Um, they're not one of my main dishes, i.e. that come out very regularly. Things like chili con carne comes out very regularly. Mm-hmm. However, they're probably the second tier. They come out every... Uh, yeah, I'd probably say we, we we probably have them about once a month, once every couple months, I suppose. Uh, we had them today, for example, Taco Tuesday. Um, is I'd say we, we rarely have them on any other day um and they're, they're just they 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 are very versatile as logan said you can have loads of different styles of toppings um for example today we had just uh it wasn't quite guacamole because it was avocado with lime and salt and pepper which is a coriander short of guacamole for me uh, but we had that we had beef um lettuce and uh, we had smoked cheese mm. Mm. Apple, apple wood. Right. Say again? Was it interesting? Yeah, it was good, actually. I'd recommend it. I like a smoked cheese on a burger. I'm not sure I'd have it on a taco. 
works quite well mm. with the barbecue in Asia. We had a sort of a, a Mexican barbecue sort of uh, aligned taco today. We had the Oaxaca. Um, uh, <laughs> the Jewish, the <laughs> Jewish food company. Um, I don't, I don't really. I'm not sure I get their essence. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was to anyone in the UK listening. Highly recommended. We, uh, I think they're available in places like Tesco and Waitrose at the moment. Wait, Waitroses. <laughs> I'm not getting no wa- Waitrose. Oh, Tesco's sorry. is sorry. Tesco's is Waitrose. Waitrose. I must remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll admit, I, I have minimal experience with uh, tacos. Wow. Uh, go on. I've probably. <laughs> Um, well, I was going to. Thanks for <laughs> interrupting Before me. To I, tell me. I should, yeah. yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'll just shut up. Um, I've probably had about ten in my life. And I demand that you tell me more immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've had about three in Las Vegas. Although I don't quite remember what was on them. I've had about three in a Oaxaca restaurant in. Uh, uh, Westfield, uh, and I've had a few at home, but um, yeah, it's, it's not something like so. So when Logan proposes as a topic, I, I'll admit I was a bit nervy because it's not really a subject I, I have much input uh, for. So yeah, I, but that's it. I like them. I, I don't. I, what I've had of them, I, I don't dislike by any means. I, I do enjoy them, but as MJ said, in, in terms of our repertoire in this household, it's not something that. Um, that gets uh, brought out very often. It's it's more the the chili con carne and fajitas. Mm. Fajitas. Mm. So let's talk about tacos themselves. Um, first thing we're talking about: soft or hard shell. What? What? Soft. You... Soft. Move on. I'm I'm agreeing with Stuart. Although sometimes I like to throw them in the oven, get them a little crispy, so it's like a soft oh. hard shell. What? <laughs> A semi, you, you get a semi. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Everyone yeah, loves my, a uh, semi. <laughs> take my tortillas, I throw them in the oven, they get a little crispy. So it's like you kind of have the best of both worlds. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. MJ, are that's, you more of a hard shell? That's American, isn't it? That's yeah, American. kind. Of, well, well, no, American Just... is hard shell. <laughs> no, no, no. It's American to say throw it in the oven. Throw, throw it. it in the oven. <laughs> what is it? Not American to say. Maybe I should film a video called How Americans th- or How Americans <laughs> Throw Things in the Oven. <laughs> it's me just throwing a pizza at an oven door or something. I don't know. No, that's that's, that's good oven. stuff, Michael. I just need to check that my wife isn't calling for me in pain. <laughs> Claire? <laughs> Claire, are you well? <laughs> Is your well being okay? No, okay. I thought I, I thought I heard like a blood curdling sort of yell, but I can't. I can only hear silence now. Focus so I assume she's fine. <laughs> Correct. You, um, you can you can only hear silence. Did she answer you, Michael? No. Is she sour uh, screaming? Is she even in the flat house townhouse? She's she's well, brilliant, brilliant. Narrowed uh, she narrowed that down, didn't you? Did she leave with Jason when he walked past? <laughs> she wasn't with him unless she walked out the back. I bet they've met around the corner so as not to attract suspicion. No, no as long as they're as long as they're performing safe and fun so- activities. <laughs> um, hard. I actually prefer a hard shell. Speaking a of crunchy. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer a crunchy taco. Uh, I will say that if I'm having soft, it needs to be a good quality soft tortilla. Uh, I will highlight the Oaxaca ones are made from wheat and corn. Which I think are, are, are the, I would say they're the best uh, soft vehicle I've had of a taco. You love very those nice. soft vehicles. Mm. Sorry. I said you love those soft vehicles. Oh, <laughs> absolutely! Especially when they're depositing all the flavour in my mouth. Just, tell, <laughs> just a little tip: when you do have the soft ones, if you just sort just of thumb them in, they they sort <laughs> of just go in fine. Sort um, of just fold in. I do. Kind of enjoy the experience of a hard taco, oh. taco, but they're just so fucking messy. I just they're just so difficult to eat. I just find them annoying, even though they're tasty. So I, I from the little experience I've had, I just think I just think the soft tortilla is is much 
much better vehicle for the uh, for the food to go in my mouth. Popular thing to do here, I don't know if it's a big thing in the UK, is like taking the hard shell and like crunching it up and making like a taco salad. <laughs> Not really. I know, I'm just saying, listen, I don't agree with it. I'm just saying it's a thing. No, it sounds like you're saying we should all do it. No, no I won't. Not, listen, listen. As as advocate of taco supremacy, <laughs> I would say no. I'm just saying it's a thing. Yeah, it's actually it's what I'm left with at the end of a taco meal is essentially a taco <laughs> salad. It's all the shards <laughs> on the bottom. Because I say embrace the mess. If it's going to fall apart, yeah, don't absolutely. try and get it in your mouth. Just let it fall on the plate and then you get the, you scoop all up at the end. It's yeah. absolutely unavoidable that you're going to have all that uh, natural, ta- organic taco salad, I guess. Yes. Mm. I, don't, um, I, don't know, I don't know why I'm being more. I don't know why I'm being more. Listen, that. MJ, I'm with you. It's okay. Don't worry about no, it. No, I'm being, I'm I'm being, I'm being bullied every single episode. <laughs> listen, listen. You have your own YouTube channel that's based around comedy. Just appreciate it when people do laugh. Um, Guys, and then Stuart called the... me Michael Sarah earlier this episode. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you, use the hashtag Force MJ out if you agree with them, and use the hashtag uh, uh, MJ. Come in. Free, free MJ, <laughs> free MJ, free MJ from the shackles of bullying. Online bullying. Free the hard taco. Bi weekly online bullying. That's that's a catchy hashtag there. Free MJ from bullying. The hashtag bullying bi weekly. Right, shorten it to hashtag bi bull. How many people you think <laughs> use that hashtag every Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> um. So we obviously talked about feelings there. What? Are your no, t- we didn't. No, 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 we didn't. No, no, earlier, <laughs> no, we earlier. Did. Yeah, we did. All oh, right. Earlier. Um, <laughs> what are your um, What are your particular favorites? I know we sort of broadly. What What would be your one if you had to have Tago a particular filling? What would be your one ultimate go to in terms of a main filling? Uh, build it up. Give Give, give me right. the whole lot. So your meat, your cheese, your your, your sauces, condiments, whatever. Right. Fair, right. Basic. Some crispy iceberg lettuce. <laughs> Got a, I lay down a basis of iceberg lettuce, then we go for some homemade guac. We go for some homemade pico de gallo. We go for it's some fascinating. <laughs> you're, you're telling us the order in which you put them down. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, oh, I didn't I even the, think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so I've put I've put some lettuce at the bottom. Then I've put some guac, some pico. I might do the guac and the pico before the lettuce. Then I am going to put uh, some sour cream. Mm. Then I'm going to put my meat. Now, I, my meat is... <laughs> wait, so right. you put your meat on the top? That's, no, that's wait. Just, wait. <laughs> no, no. Okay. I put my meat in the middle, okay? okay. And, so it's the right, cream I'm, of the cookie. Cookie. Yeah. I'm either going to have some sliced, <laughs> spiced belly pork okay or i'm going to have um uh, i we often have fish tacos Mm -hmm. so it will be a a fish goujon kind of thing and then on top of that i will put some grated cheddar cheese and then i will uh go hot sauce crazy all right and the hot sauce will be whatever kind of um whatever hot sauce we've got in at that time so um uh logan won't know but there's a a, a, a kind of budget supermarket over here called Lidl, and they do a range of bats, hot sauces, and they do, um, it's like a papaya, ancho and papaya, which is which is quite a nice um, fruity hot sauce, and that would be my taco. I don't think I've missed anything off. Lettuce, sour cream, guac, pico de gallo, main filling, grated cheddar, hot sauce, uh, and then fold it in, thumb it in. Is this Bats Brew, Stuart? I'm looking it up right now. Is this what? Sorry, man. Bats. Bats Brew. B- no, no. It's oh. just it's Bats B A B A T T S. Um, it's it's pr- it's probably available in other places, but they, we get them from from like say this this budget supermarket, little Bats Papaya. Do you, do you get Littles yeah, in America? An- Ancho, Ancho and Papaya. If you search, if you search. Bats, I see it. Yeah, I papaya. see the uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. the European sign for money. So <laughs> the the European sign for money. Yeah. Sweet um, chili dipping sauce, nice. What about you, Michael Jameson? Uh, I'm still a little Bill. bit perplexed by Stuart saying that the 
fifth ingredient of seven is somehow the middle, but uh, I, I guess I won't. Uh, I guess, guess I won't dwell on it too long. Longer in than terms I really of have. in terms of positioning, because what I'll tend to do yeah, it's is landlocked. my it's landlocked. My guac, my pico, and my sour cream will form like a trio of stripes. Okay. Which yeah. <laughs> That's um, I've I've actually quite recently changed. <laughs> I've quite recently changed things up a little bit in terms of ordering. So I get my tortilla, uh, then I will sprinkle some cheese in there, and what? it will be yeah, a bit of cheese in there first of all, um, oh. because I, I I want it to be quite a mild cheese, guys. To be honest with you, um, shredded American would be great. Uh, if it's a cheddar, it's got to be a very mild cheddar. I don't want too strong of a cheese with my taco. Um, then I will place the hot meat. The reason <laughs> being is that the hot meat will uh, hopefully melt the cheese. So, uh, see, I don't want that at all. I don't want my cheese to melt. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Then I'll put a second layer of cheese, and they'll be very small layers because I don't want my taco to be too cheesy. Uh, then... I will probably put some kind of sauce. So today I used the ancho and tomato uh, salsa that came with the kit. Uh, Then some guacamole um, and then lettuce. Um, That's what I had today. I would say lettuce, cheese. I will usually go for beef, minced beef, because that is how I prefer my tacos. Um, Occasionally, very occasionally chicken. Um, and then fish sometimes as well. I'm very, uh, I do like fish tacos when I've had them, but I do wish they were as good as they sound in the movie I Love You Man. Uh, they really romanticise <laughs> fish tacos to a way that makes them absolutely uh, delicious sounding. Um, Michael James, do... you, just, you just jumped up a ton of points because that's one of my favourite movies. <laughs> absolutely what? brilliant. You're su- oh, right, such, right. A Paul, such a Paul Rudd mark. Yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. Mike from Friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're we just listing Paul Rudd roles now. Is this... Yeah, that guy from Clueless. I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, red cabbage. I can see it in there, but I'd probably have that with a fish taco. Um, yeah, I think I've said my piece. Uh, maybe sour cream, but I would say <laughs> lettuce and cheese. Absolutely man. We're just gonna. Well, let, I mean, what, we're just what, gonna let that what, happen, are we? What, just, what is that? It's a train near my house. <laughs> near your house? Train. Does, does yeah, it it's in my your... house. It's literally yeah. in my house. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say. Like a... <laughs> I told Nate. I warned Nate. I was like, "There's a train near my house. You're gonna hear it." I thought I'd... I Brewster's millions. I thought I'd leave it as a surprise for the guys. Yeah, <laughs> he thought it would have driven past by now. Um... <laughs> No, mandatory is lettuce, cheese, meat, um, uh, highly wanted guacamole. Everything else on top of that is just a bonus. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just quickly rattle through mine before we get to Logan, who's the expert in these things, apparently. Um, Yeah, okay, sure. (laughs) I'm the same as uh, Stuart. I'll start with lettuce. Give it a nice little little bed of uh, some, yeah, just to soak up everything else. I'd probably then go with some onions, uh, a bit of beef, definitely a beef man over over chicken. Uh, then I'd just top it off with a bit of sour cream, salsa, and cheese. I would. Uh, mm. So yeah. What? Can you just can you just give me some more details on your onions, please, Nathan? Fried onions, not raw. Right. Um, right. Done. However, my wife fries them. Um, right. And then they go in the taco like that. Cool. Anything more? Pro- probably. Probably red onions for preference. Yeah, yeah. I that's why good, that's why choice. onions are very. Mo- Go on, man. No, red onions are like way better than any other onion. Yeah, white onions are a dead thing. Like I don't understand why anyone would buy white onions in this day and age. Yeah, I love red onions. Um, yeah. Logan, yeah. So mine's very, mine's very just straightforward, very simple. I don't really mess around with all these other bits and bobs that you guys have got, but um, Logan, uh, Logan, I'm I'm counting on you to uh, pick up where I've left off in terms of. I forgot to ridicule Stuart, and now, by extension, Nate, for their lettuce placement. Please take it away, my friend. Well, most of the time, if we're having tacos at home, which we very occasionally do, we we do a corn tortilla. 
and then we put our meat on the bottom. Correct. Huh? So, well, that's that's how you know things are done in America. I was uh-huh. yelled at for once not doing that on uh, Facebook. So since then, I've made sure that I don't do that anymore. Yeah. By uh, Binge's own uh, Jim Cupka, Nate. I knew it was going to be Cupka. Yeah, because he yells Cupka. about everything. Anyway. Uh, name dropping where it's not really necessary. Yeah, no one knows who that is. <laughs> so, uh, most of the time, I would say like 90% of the time, we do uh, grilled chicken with uh, taco seasoning, which, you know, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes I make my own little paprika, lemon pepper, stuff like that. Other times I just buy it from the yeah, store. Yeah. Um, do grilled chicken. Other times I do ground beef. Um, but it's pretty much either it's lettuce of a iceberg or romaine variety. Yep. Uh, I, prefer bre- I prefer Brexit lettuce. Oh, God. Yeah, good right. job, Mom. Anyway, uh, tomatoes, you know, diced tomatoes. Yeah. I prefer guacamole on my taco. Sour cream, I don't mind, but I'm, if I'm going to go for one thing, it's going to be guacamole. Correct. Um, onions, I do. I don't really normally do, but I would say if I did onions, red onions would be the best choice, Nate. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty basic when it comes to taco. I have dabbled in salsa, which is not your typical, you know, tomato or anything. I've made pineapple little salsa. I've made yes, strawberry. Wow. Yeah, pa- yeah, I'm oh. a big fan of pineapple salsa. Um, so oh. anything that's like provides more flavor to what's already uh, provides a variety of flavor in your mouth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now, think about we- a pot. Think about a pork taco with pineapple mm. salsa on it. Yeah, I was just going to say, what would you would you have that more with a uh, chicken? But yeah, pork, I guess. Yeah, I don't think pineapple would work as well on on beef. No. But this is a person who states that pineapple on pizza is absolutely one hundred percent amazing, and anybody else who disagrees is an absolute fool. Fuck right. you, Eric. So. Yeah. <laughs> and MJ's just leaving. He's done. Yeah, MJ's done. <laughs> He, he's heard all he needs to hear. I don't know what he's yeah, doing. I've, yeah. Um, I know a lot of tacos provide season, uh, not seasoning, but salsas. So for me personally, like, if I'm gonna put salsa on it, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own. And but otherwise, like I don't really want to put a uh, a store bought salsa on my uh, my taco. What a- if pineapple on a pizza annoys you, you're an idiot. Taste buds, brilliant. One hundred percent agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people are fucking idiots about that. Yeah. No. Oh, you can't put pineapple in a pizza. What, can you not put tomato on it either? Because that's a fucking fruit, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, very good segue, MJ. I have had taco pizza. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's not... It's just basically all the fillings of a taco on a pizza. Oh. Uh, and would that? And I imagine that would have some crushed up shell as well, like a taco yes. salad. Uh, yeah. yeah, I could go for that. Yeah, yeah. I'd try it. I'd, pizza just seems to be a, something that people will throw anything on. Yeah, it just yeah, and see if it works. See if it works. Um, now, obviously, you mentioned there about making them at home. Uh, a couple of things there. One, now in the UK, we obviously get a lot of like ready to go kits. As MJ has already told us about Oaxaca. 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 Um, Old El Paso is obviously another very mm-hmm. big one here. Um, it, Santa Maria. S- Santa Maria? Is that another one? It used to be Discovery. It's now Santa oh, Maria. Yeah. That's right. That's oh, right. one of uh, that asshole's Christopher Columbus's ships. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, is that the same in America? Do you guys get like kits or is it all sort of bought separately? We do get kits. There's an old El Paso kit that you can get. I prefer not to do that. I just get my like a bunch of tortillas and I uh, just whip it up at home. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? You get it's your thing here, not a uh, Oaxaca. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're they're available. Well, Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like and... to throw an idea out there. Okay. It's slightly taking a step back. Okay. Okay. Nate. Yeah. I I wonder if the placement of your lettuce is what's causing the messiness. How do you how do you feel about that? <laughs> you can be honest with me. Um well you also admitted to a potential messiness of um hard shell tacos falling apart. I did none of the sort. 
we were talking about nature's own uh, taco salad on your plate. So uh, that that was me. Ah, but ah, but uh, that was uh, speaking about crunchy tacos, which you claimed to not have usually had. I said hard tacos, it's crunchy huh? tacos. Ah, uh? I said I said hard. Yeah, just, just put the meat at the bottom. So, right. Just put the meat in the bottom. <laughs> Can you spell some change? We've got ears to feed. We come to you with open hands, but instead of on the streets, we're begging on the podcast. Do you want this episode to be our last? Will you please go to Patreon and donate some cash? If you enjoy the Food Review UK content on YouTube and here on the podcast, then please consider heading to patreon.com, Food Review UK, and making a small donation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. MJ Stewart, do you, do you, when you make yours, do you tend to uh, kit it up or do you sort of buy everything separately? No. The, the only. I knew you'd say no. You're, you're such a the, purist. Exactly. The only Mexican kit I ever buy, and it's not even like a box kit, I, um, a Discovery Santa Maria do an enchilada kit, which mm-hmm. is like a. Uh, a, a spice, a dry spice mix, and a jar sauce, which is good for making enchiladas. They're, it's a nice enchilada sauce. But no, I, I don't tend to buy those box kits. And I tell you what, can absolutely get in the sea those um, soft taco tray cup oh. things. You don't like them? No. Like the boat, like the boats, the yeah. taco boats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, quite no. like them. They're cool. They're all right. It's just, it's yeah. just, it's just the same thing, just reshaped. No, it's, it's not. It's not authentic. It's not authentic. It's not authentic, and I am um, authentic. Know, one eighth. Yeah, exactly. I am one eighth Mexican. Exactly. <laughs> uh, MJ, do you, do you, do you, are you a purist or do you get an old El Paso slash Oaxaca? Funny enough, I, uh, I slash... smoked. Uh, I smoked one eighth of a Mexican last night. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> no, 50 50. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not opposed to the kits. The, the reason I mainly don't go for them is because I don't really like the salsa in them, which, considering there's three things in the kit the wraps, the salsa, and then the seasoning for the meat you sort of throwing money away, really. Um, that and taco seasoning is so easy to make. It's literally like. Yeah, paprika, maybe a bit of smoked paprika, a bit of chili powder, a bit of garlic, and that would be absolutely serviceable. Um, yeah. Obviously, you can get a bit more creative than that. But, uh, yeah, it's 50-50. Sometimes it's easier and sometimes they're on offer, so it's just cheaper to buy them that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, normally when I get when I make tacos at home, I, I normally i am lazy and I get the pre-made up like, taco seasoning. But that's really only where I like cut corners. Yeah. I think whenever we've had them at home, I think we we tended to get the the seasoning, but that's about it. We won't get like the full the full box for the same reason you just said about you know not everything in there is worthwhile, and it's just just get the seasoning and it's done. Um, Correct. What are your respective views on on uh, you? Obviously, again, we've all talked about eating them at home, making them at home, but how are they when we've had them out and about? Have we had them out and about? Do we eat them in restaurants? Is it something that we would choose if you we went to a, uh, a Oaxaca? They, they, they must have sponsored this fucking episode. But um, any, any, oh, other, okay. any other restaurants that are Mexican? I tend not to get... Um, there's a, there is a place in, my, in Manchester where I get my burritos from that do do tacos, and I've just never had tacos from there because... Mm. You're a burrito, man. Uh, well, yeah, and I can make... I can make a taco at home much more readily than I can make a burrito. Um, there's the, 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 just the rolling of a burrito. I'm talking about like big, big, fat mission style burritos. I can never roll those properly and get them as good at home as they get them. Um, whereas I'm, I'm pretty certain that I can make an amazing taco. So I, I tend not to choose them. Um, other than, uh, and I don't think we've got the like. A particular taco place that I remember going to on my honeymoon was in Santa Barbara, and I thought I'll, I'll, I'll try and find out what the name of that place was. So I binged Tacos Santa Barbara. I was like, "Oh, that'll come up." And there's literally Santa Barbara, which is not a not a massive town by any stretch of the imagination. There's like twelve taco places in Santa Barbara. You know, it over in America, particularly West Coast. I think you 
there's just such this uh, this abundance of great tackle joints that I don't think we have over here. Mm. Yeah. So it's no, I agree. I mean, we obviously do have um a few Mexican chains and obviously independent restaurants. It's 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 nowhere near as big a cuisine over here as it as, as say an Italian or an Indian Chinese or anything like that. But like you say, even even drilling down to that, a lot of the places you're talking about are full blown restaurants, whereas I get the impression that in America, and Logan may correct me if I'm wrong, but there are places that are, you know, just literally quick stops. Obviously, you've got the taco trucks and things like that that we mm. just don't have. Oh. We just don't have in there. I mean, obviously, if you go somewhere like Camden or if you go somewhere else that's heavy on the old street food, you might get lucky that there's a stall that sells them. Yeah. Um, mm. But generally speaking, it's not as readily available as easily and convenient as it probably is in America. Would you Would, would you say that's fairly accurate Logan that you, you can sort of access them out and about quite easily yeah I mean so you guys I mean you know about Taco Bell I mean nope <laughs> uh, <laughs> they say it's not Mexican but I mean yeah so we have Taco Bell we have Moe's and I'm, I'm assuming that the name is brought up I don't know if it's a thing in the UK but Chipotle mm-hmm. yeah, um, yeah so these are all you know your three pretty top of the line as far as fast food tacos are concerned um and then you can go to any other, you know, restaurant like TJ Fridays or, you know, we have a place here called Hula Hands or stuff like that where you can go and you can get tacos. They're on the menu. Um, personally, how, I just go ahead. No, I was going to say, how do they compare? To making them at home? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you if you want a, a taco like at your convenience, you know, obviously going to one of those restaurants is, is a little bit more easier. But I mean, making them home, it's. I, I think Stuart said it best when he said it's like an event. You know, you have everything set up. You you, you kind of create a, it's like a little party food. Uh, you know, you go around and you collect all your lettuce and your cheese and your meats. And, you know, you put the meats on the bottom. Um, <laughs> but, you know, all that stuff. So, I mean, it doesn't, you can you can say, you know, it, it, this taco is as that good as that taco or whatever else. But when it comes to making them at home, I just think it's more, it's more fun. And this is for me personally, like making them at home is something that I, I choose to do on a regular basis. It's funny that when, uh, my fiance, Jackie and I moved into our apartment, we had tacos the first like Tuesday we were here. And then the following Tuesday, I was like, Oh, we're going to make tacos. And she said, uh, we don't have to have tacos every Tuesday. And I said, uh, it's Tuesday having tacos (laughs) for me i would make them you know all the time um you can get them anywhere i mean you talked about the taco food trucks i've never had a taco food truck which i feel like i need to have um i've had tacos in texas which is as close as mexico as you can get i've never been to mexico but they were delicious there but i think making them at home it provides a little bit more not just effort but it's like how you want them how they appeal to you and how how good they can be if you're trying different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you just mentioned there about um, Tuesday. So that that's I mean I know it sounds a silly point, but that is a, a legit big thing. Is it that, that, that it's it's eaten on yeah. Tuesdays that that because um, obviously we have roast dinners and it's it's tied to a Sunday. It's it's that's the day right. that most people will, will have that. So would, would you say that most people will have their tacos on a Tuesday? It sounds a ridiculous <laughs> question. I get, but. Isn't, isn't that just from the Lego movie? Like, I just thought that it was Lego movie. <laughs> no, that's a thing, man. Yeah. No, it isn't. No, like, Taco Tuesday in the Lego movie was because, like, America made Taco Tuesday a thing. And I feel right. like a lot of, like, restaurants, they'll say, oh, tacos are cheaper on a Tuesday if you go there. Or, like, you know, they'll sort of mix in, like, the whole, like, sangria and tacos are, are cheaper on a Tuesday. Like, some places will make a deal out of it. Cinco de Mayo is a huge thing here because obviously you go to any Mexican restaurant and you'll you'll get food there and on, on Cinco de Mayo. Um, mm-hmm. So personally, like for me, like I don't if it's Cinco de Mayo, like I don't care. I'm making tacos. Like that's 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 how I yeah. feel about the food. Is that you know even if there's a day related to it or something like that, like I will I will. It doesn't even matter what day of the week it is. I will make tacos because not only are they easy, but like they're just they're just fun and they're like they're they you can provide so much. Uh, difference to what you're making as far as what the taco is that it's just it's it's good but yeah I would think that Taco Tuesday is definitely something that here is like a common thing okay cool um, what sort of time of day do you guys eat them is it do you, do you consider them a, a, a dinner or is it a lunchtime dinner, thing? dinner 
Sure. It's a dinner time thing for me. Yeah, it's a dinner time thing. Um, just because there's, it's just the organising of everything. I think if if I was if I had readily available uh, fast food tacos, then yeah, they'd be an absolute perfect lunch. Because mm-hmm. that's another thing I think about fast food tacos. Um, I'm not sure the portion size is enough for me. Mm. You're talking about kind of three small tacos. Um, they're they're a little smaller than maybe the tacos that I eat at home. So we'll get we'll buy those small tortillas. But the small tortillas that you get over here are like um, like a six inch tortilla, maybe aren't they? Mm-hmm. Whereas it, whereas I think if you're getting fast food tacos, you kind of get in so, you know maybe three four inch tortillas, mm-hmm. um, and that's that's not satisfying me. No, I mean how how many do you have? What's what's your what's your optimum? Four or five, really? Four or five, like big fat tacos. Uh, well, but no, let's say four. I think five is pushing it too much. I think you tend to get like ten tortillas in one of those little in a packet. So um, Gemma and myself will probably have four each. Theo will Theo will eat a couple. So yeah, four nice big tortillas. No, it's, sorry, four nice big, well stuffed tacos as well. I'm talking about that. It, it's almost it's almost impossible to to get any kind of fold. Mm-hmm. Um, I I have to just like inhale quite heavily, and the taco the taco enters me. Um, MJ, do you, do you often have them going back a step? Do you, do you eat them out and about, or is it purely homemade that you tend to have them? Yeah, it's it's mainly homemade because I I think it's a shame in that Mexican cuisine is quite underrepresented in this country mm. from a fast food perspective. It's growing. Definitely getting these, you know, uh, like sort of chain subway style burrito places opening up. Um, big, obviously, in in Stuart's neck of the woods. Um, I've I can count the number of time I've, times I've eaten Mexican out on one hand, which is a real shame. You know, I've been to Chiquito a couple of times. Uh, had that taco last year at the Feast Food Festival, which was incredible. That was like a uh, food van, food truck style. Mm. And it was amazing, like dirty style, brilliant, excellent. And that's what I want more of. Um, I think maybe one of the things that has pushed me away from it is that, yeah, maybe it is the fact that when you do it at your house, you have it exactly how you want it. And you don't necessarily want it how some restaurants over here will do it. Um, But it's, it's mainly just the... I usually fancy something else when I'm out and about. And uh, if there's only like one, if, if, if Mexican restaurants are so few and far between over here, um, the chances that I'm going to fancy it when I'm in a place that actually has that kind of restaurant is slimmer. Um, Now I will say a little bit about Taco Bell because that is where I have had a lot. Um, Whenever I go over to America, Taco Bell is a must visit place for me. And usually it's a multiple visit place. And the reason for that is because uh, what Stuart almost indicated as a negative is probably one of its strengths for me. Stuart uh, mentioned that the size of the fast food tacos is so small that they won't really fill you up. The great thing about Taco Bell is that you can have it, well, certainly when you're doing big full days in America and you've had a big lunch, or a big breakfast it can be really nice as a lighter meal uh, but conversely you can it's sort of set up in a way almost like tapas you can order what you want like the small tacos i think are like 79 cents that's almost no money in pence yeah. that's it's actually closer to zero pence than it is to 10 pence um <laughs> so that's basically free oh. Um, yeah, if you start getting 10 tacos at that size, then yeah, then you're starting to actually have to pay for them. But um, but I think they do sort of, they're a, meal, a typical like proper meal at Taco Bell that they have on their menu will be like a drink, some fries or nachos as a side, then three small tacos, like crunchy or soft, and then it will be the main taco, which will be a big sort of fuck-off taco, like a crunch <laughs> or whatever. Um, and yeah... People do pretentiously, uh, not pretentiously, arrogantly say, ah, oh, it's not Mexican. Well, it is Mexican, isn't it? It's fast Mexican and it's quick Mexican, but it is Mexican spiced uh, meat or vegetable with Mexican accompaniments. Like, you can't say it isn't Mexican. That's, that's just a stupid thing. If anyone ever says that to me, I'll say, oh, well, I'm just going to disregard your opinion in future. Love Taco Bell. Love tacos. <laughs> Have it rarely in the UK. Have it every single time I go to the States for Taco Bell. Yeah, I mean, to go off MJ's point, like, if you have $20 and you go to Taco Bell, you're, like, eating like a king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so cheap. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's not really it's not really good when it comes out, but... 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's, really, it's filthily cheap in there. It's weird how we don't really have it in this country. There's literally like one or two in the entire country. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, that's not true, actually. They're growing quite fast. Are they? About... I think there's one somewhere near Manchester now. Yeah. There might even be one at the Trafford Centre. I think there's about... They started out with about two or three or four, but there is, there's about 20 or 30 now. Ah. It's quite Good. a lot now. It, it, yeah, I mean, it is just like you said at the start of your, your, your chat there, that it is just a massively un- unrepresented or underrepresented cuisine. It's just the Indian, Chinese and Italian market is just so strong in this country yeah. that just anything outside of that um, is really difficult to sell. I think, I think We're always crying out for, for, for really good Mexicans. We used to have a belting Mexican restaurant in Manchester and it just shut down and, like, it's just such a shame. Yeah. Yep. Um, anyone else got anything on tacos? Any, anything I've missed? Just uh, really quick, uh, Stuart mentioned that uh, he eats like four or five tacos. I normally, I'm not a, as far as like taco sides, because a lot of places like serve rice and beans, I'm more of a, like a chips and, and salsa or, or mm-hmm. guac kind of guy on the yeah. side. So that's where I kind of, if I'm having like, like three tacos, like I don't just eat three tacos. I normally have like a side of like chips and, and dip, if you will. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's, that's like that's my point. Uh, go-to for what my side yeah. is. Yeah, just to clarify, if I'm eating Crisps. four tacos, I'm also I am also eating um, I'm also eating some. Tell you what, a great uh, we the, they do Doritos hint of lime. Mm-hmm. So uh, grab a bag of those and then um, make loads of guac, loads of pico, yeah. and then just you know use that use the, use the Doritos to 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 fill up and and also to clean your plate because you've got you mm-hmm. the tacos are so use use the Doritos. If anything, they're um, you know, you're doing the world a service by using the Doritos to clean up. Um, just one thing I just thought of on, on the subject of eating out. Um, <laughs> and ha- <laughs> not, not, not on this podcast. Um, <clears throat> I would say the one pro that you would have from ordering uh, tacos from a restaurant is, is sometimes variety. Obviously, you can often get... Uh, a chicken, a pork, and a beef, or something that you, you can have more than one sort of flavouring or one more than one meat. So that that is one pro that it does have in its favour. But uh, yeah, I, I sort of agree, agree. I've enjoyed them while out, but they're probably they're just not as hearty. They're just not as filling or satisfying as uh, as homemade taco tacos. I'd like to say that there are twenty five Taco Bells in the UK now. Excellent. Uh, nearest one to me is 36 miles, a.k.a. Woking. Um, oh, that's amazing. Stuart's just held up a notepad with dupe on the front. The... That's not, no, that's not a printed notepad. That's my drawing of dupe. Yeah, yeah no, okay. sorry. That's what, yeah, that's what I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know what dupe is. I think you mentioned it to me once before. Oh. But I, I, what, who is dupe? What is dupe? Uh, Dupe is a, a character from the kind of expanded X universe okay. Marvel comics, um, a spin-off of the original kind of Cable X Force comics, where they went in a very uh, a post uh, kind of postmodern ironic um, direction under the uh, direction of Mike Allred. Great comics, X Force and X Statics. Just thought I'd do a bit of comics to make Logan feel at home. Oh. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I'm wearing an Avengers shirt right now, but you can't oh, see it. Oh, sick. I'm the only one wearing official Food Review UK merch then, obviously, <laughs> so... And this is a Food Review UK podcast, not a comic one. Sorry, what's... Oh, sorry. Sorry, what's this? They ate a shawarma. That's your small... Oh! That's your, that's your small <laughs> penis. <laughs> yes. What is that? Look, what are you doing? Look on the tip of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Food Review UK transfer tattoo. Yes, that's right, guys. You can buy your... No, I don't know. Michael, mm. why do you put your dick in a tortilla? Because mm. <laughs> I like the hot to melt the cheese. That's a really good point, actually. No one in the world has had a Food Review UK tattoo. Ooh. I I would like to put that out there as a challenge. The first person in the world to get a Food Review UK tattoo can be on this podcast. Um, at, Minimum yeah, can go to my 
can go to Michael's house and record the podcast <laughs> and stay and stay with him mm, in his bed. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Let me clear it with Claire. <laughs> <laughs> or clear it with Claire. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> Imagine Iguana Livers just rocking up with uh, his uh tattoo on. You almost don't have to imagine. Exactly. <laughs> um that's it, I think we've got for tacos, unless anyone's got anything else. But um, I think we've covered pretty much everything there. Uh, if you, the listeners I'm talking to, if you have any thoughts on this, obviously <laughs> let us know via the social media. Email us at frockcast at gmail.com. We don't often pick up that, to be fair. No, we don't. Uh, email. We need a, in fact, in fact, do you know what? I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a, uh, a little stinger, a little uh, email or stinger to throw into the rotation. Nice. Um, yeah, email us at frockcast at gmail.com and uh, the social media is to let us know what your thoughts are on tacos. This is Timmy. Timmy. Say hi, Timmy. Hi. Timmy doesn't know what podcast to listen to because people don't leave a review. Isn't that, isn't right? that right? That's right. And isn't it also true you're true an orphan? orphan? Absolutely. There you have it. Conclusive evidence that orphans, and definitely not me using a higher pitched voice, have a harder life because you don't leave a podcast review. Review us today. today. Save an orphan. orphan. Which leads us on to Sweet or Savory. Correct. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What? We've missed social media. I can't believe you've forgotten it again. Like... I'm going to you just I'm hate my segment. Right, I'm going to literally take a photograph. I wrote it down, social media, <laughs> and then I've crossed it through. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. This is my one and only segment, the, the time where MJ gets to shine. And <laughs> week after week, it is absolutely just trodden on to the point that it is now being struck off quite literally from the schedule. Uh, which leads us lovely onto social media. <laughs> Love. Lovely. Um, there's no questions this week, actually, so move on. <laughs> no, joking. Uh, there are a few, but as you can imagine, with quite a, quite a concise uh, topic, we have covered a few, but I will still give them the shout-outs. Bethang said hard or soft, which we've covered. Uh, homemade or takeout, which I think we've sufficiently covered. Guac or, guac or salsa or sour cream. We've sort of implied, I'm just to make it very clear, guac. If I had to choose one, guac, but all three. If I had to choose one, salsa. You avocado hair. Yeah, fuck avocado oh. right in the face. Ugh. Oh. Not com- oh. Okay. What about you, Legan? <laughs> guac. Guac. Yeah. Guac. Uh, Correct. Meat or bean, obviously meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'd be really tempted to eat a bit. We've never even done a bean taco, and... Um, with my wife being a vegetarian, I think that's something that we should probably try. Uh, squash tacos. Mm-hmm. Well, we do. We when we make enchiladas, enchiladas. Sorry, we do squash enchiladas. So, yeah, that's another thing to throw in the rotation, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Correct. Nate. Uh, meat, obviously. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, spicy or? Is hang on, hang on. Sorry, let's go back. I mean, that question in itself. Do you think that was a legit question, or is that like a cheeky double entendre? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I mean, I have to confess, I did envision one single bean sitting at the top of a taco shell. Uh, <laughs> but I don't run it out. Oh. Uh, spicy oh. or mild? Spicy as. Mild as. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I preferably somewhere in between, but if I have to choose one, then mild. Grow up. You grow up. <laughs> I am doing, mate. I'm forty next Ooh. month. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to to go to all as uh, posing as Cookie Mill said jalapenos or no? Yeah, sure. Well, no, do you know what? No, I don't put them on. No, and I don't know why. Fair. I, yeah, I probably wouldn't. I don't. Maybe I'll start. I feel like there's not many vegetables to put on a taco unless it's onions, and that's pretty much it. And lettuce, obviously. Yeah, Stan. Yeah. Uh, no, no for me. Uh, he said hot sauce or no? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, he's just a ridiculous human being. What? Oh. 
Well, I just, I, I'm not a huge spicy fan. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm being given a definitive. I mean, I'll take a, all right, I'll take a drop of uh, spicy sauce. Right. Okay. That's okay then. A drop. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> um, grilled or raw onions? Uh, right, I don't, I don't know the onions on tacos thing. We have, we make pico, de, our pico de gallo and guacamole has um, raw red onions in it. But I'm intrigued by this idea of a grilled fried onion in a taco. Yeah, um, I might, I might try it at some point. I'd say none, but I'd be willing to try grilled. Yeah, also, I, I feel the same way. Grilled, yeah. I don't, I, I like, I like, quite like raw onions in certain things, but I just don't, I don't know if I'd, I'd like it in this. I don't know if the texture would work. Mm. Fair, fair. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, James fifty two has said tacos or burritos. I think we know Stuart's answer. Yeah, burritos. Tacos. Yeah, yeah I'd say both. Although I do like burritos. <laughs> yeah, they're, good, they're so good. I mean, that's what. I mean, that's a horrible yeah. choice to make someone yeah. make. I'd, uh, prob- I'd probably say burritos. Just interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Maverick Baking has said corn or flour. I'd, I'd go with corn, I think. Sam. More flavour. I don't really... I, I, yeah, I don't have a preference, to be honest. I don't know if I know the difference, so I'll just go with consensus of corn. Corn is corn and yeah. flour is flour. <laughs> Very true. Know, corn of the yel- you know what, corn of the yellow we want. Corn, is, corn is good. So, Nate, you know those sort of big sort of dome buildings with the sort of propeller on the side uh heli buildings windmills right yeah okay so they they ground they grind down they ground okay wheat they they ground down wheat they ground down wheat when you grind down wheat it creates flour okay so that's can you imagine flour for me okay yeah okay and now imagine (laughs) imagine a flat disc of bread made with flour Right. Okay. Great. Now, do you know? Do you know corn? Do you, do you know those sort of small yellow things? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Co- that's corn. Mm-hmm. If you gr- small yellow things like your car. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, something else. I'm sure everyone <laughs> sees where I'm going with my uh, uh, yes. pet- petulant. Uh, Very thing. funny. Yeah. Uh, and you wonder why we try and avoid your segment. <laughs> Fresh or yeah. cooked salsa? Fresh? I don't understand. What's yeah. cooked salsa? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's probably a thing. No. Isn't it? Yeah, no, no, it's I'm not. Just say, I'm going to say cooked just for the hell of it. <laughs> Who asked that question? Maverick Bacon. Oh, Scottish, ridiculous. Un- unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> deep fried salsa, probably. <laughs> deep fried salsa. Kelly, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> uh, cheese or no? Yeah. Cheese. Actually, cheese maybe, on... I should re- maybe I should read it in her accent. Oh god! <laughs> That's off, but, yeah. probably insulting. Corn or flour tortillas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's not oh, oh, fresh or cooked salsa? Oh my god, it's just That's scouser, scouser. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, how many tacos is considered a meal? Fifteen. Four. <laughs> hundred and what was it? Hundred and what was the record? One hundred and twenty-seven. Oh. That sounds about right. Yeah. That. Yeah, that's a, that's a meal. Yeah. yeah, I'd say four as well. Uh, <laughs> finally, Ollis Plinsky. Is it Ollis? Yeah, Ollis Plinsky has said, favourite location for tacos? Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, f- funnily enough, they've said, out of all of you, who would win a speed eating contest for tacos? Me. Stuart. Yeah. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what ruins a taco? Poo. Ooh. <laughs> Chocolate flavour poo. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much ruins uh, a I don't know what the, what I'm not sure. Maybe it's such an open ended question. I mean literally anything. Well, maybe not literally anything, but Well yeah. I don't I've never had a taco that's been ruined, so I mean I I don't know. I don't, there are things that I, pr- I wouldn't want on a taco, but I'm not sure that you would put them on there. Yeah. I suppose. I bet, I bet. I bet there are a lot of a lot of maybe Mexicans who would consider the use of cheddar cheese ruining it because they might go for. Um, I'm, oh God, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Uh, queza, queza fresca. 
they might go for that, and it's which is more of a, almost like a feta cheese, wow. like the cr- the crumbly light cheese, rather than rather than a cheddar. So that that might be considered by some to ruin, but that's that's my. I mean, do you know what? I'm going to go for Michael's melted cheese. Just I don't I don't I don't want my cheese to be melted on a taco. Wow. I want my cheese to, to my, you know the greasiness that you get from melted cheese. No, because yeah. they're not greasy the way you, I do. You, well, no, when cheese melts, it releases its juices. Not the not the not the ones I did. <laughs> I want my cheese to to have more fortitude. If somebody uh, puts olives on my taco. I I think it's ruined. Oh, what? Yeah, does that happen? No, is I'm that, just saying. That, I feel like there's there's. Somebody out there that puts olives on a taco. Oh, okay. Someone will do it, yeah. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, I'd, I'd say those cheap oniony salsas you get. Ugh. Mm. Gross. Yeah, bad, bad salsa, bad sauces. Yeah. Or mm. even, do you know what? Even shop bought guac. Ah. Oh. So easy to make. Yes. Yeah, so There's no no excuse for shop bought guac. You could literally just mush an avocado and you practically yeah, got yeah. guac. Yeah, Nate's vomiting yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly. You mush the avocado and then you throw it in the bin. Best, <laughs> best quack ever. If you put lots of lime in it, it's basically just lime flavor, thick sauce, <laughs> which is really nice and like sort of got creaminess to it. Uh, so that's my section over, guys. Thank you very much for listening to this section. And now it's the next bit that we're going to do. It's time to play a game. Let's play a game. It's called Sweeter or Seven. Sorry. Here's that. Logan, you know how to play the game. I do. Right, Ace. Um I've ju- do you know what? I was just having a look through. There's a surprising number of foodstuffs that have never been pulled out of the hat. So I'm really hoping for some foodstuffs. We may have problems that there are some specific brands tonight, so we might need to explain some things to you. Because you, uh, you've got one of those America. invisible, one of those invisible disabilities that we were talking about <laughs> earlier on, um, or find an equivalent brand, um, or just make Logan suffer. Yep. Um, yeah, it's okay, everybody's my MO. game. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the first food stuff out of the hat is my friend Logan. It's oh, it's already been mentioned tonight. It's Hawaiian Ooh. pizza. Will the next? That is the third time that Hawaiian pizza has been out of the Northern Flat Cap. Will the next food be sweeter or savourier? I'm sorry. I'm distracted by MJ jerking off with his hand. <laughs> Aren't we all? Uh. uh what is he doing? What? <laughs> what are you doing, Michael? My phone's saying that it's got moisture in the charging port, and it's said it said it for the whole fucking day. It's doing my head in. Yeah, probably do that to it. Well, then. I'm yeah. glad that shaking it could help, but it's not. I'm gonna go savior, 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 savior is in a Hawaiian bit of a gamble. Savior. The next food stuff out of the hat, my friend. I don't know whether you have this in America. This is tiger what? bread. What does Charlie Sheen? <laughs> <laughs> Tiger bread. What is tiger bread? Tiger bread. Okay, so it's it's kind of large. It's a large white bread, often bought kind of uncut, um, and it has a it has a sesame paste painted on top of it. Which when they bake it, it crackles um, and makes a, the, a kind of pattern, a tiger stripey kind of pattern on top of the bread. It's a delicious bread. Um, is it more? Is it savourier than than a Hawaiian pizza? Yeah. Was? I mean, so, uh, hope, yeah. I mean, it doesn't it, doesn't the, doesn't have any tomato or pineapple in yeah. it, does it? Well, tiger bread, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely savoury. Yeah. yeah. You got two on the Woo! board, then Logan. Uh, will the next food stuff be sweeter or savoury? <laughs> Just to point out, t- tiger tiger bread is a is a is a slightly more savoury bread because of the sesame paste. Uh, sweeter. Sweeter than tiger bread, the next food stuff out of the hat, my friend, is a honey roasted peanut. That's the first time out of the hat, and that's one of Nathan Peterson's editions. Wow. You're welcome. 
Um, and I think that is sweeter than tiger bread. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, will the next food stuff Logan be sweeter or savourier? Sweeter. Sweeter than a honey roasted peanut. Okay, he's playing the game. Okay, the next food stuff out of the hat. Oh, oh I'm going to hold that up. You can't see it because of the darkness. It's a flaming oh. hot monster munch. Oh, it's, that's, I, I think that's that's, that's yeah, that's savoury. It's the first time out of the hat. I mean, I don't know what the what the similar product might be for an American. I suppose we have like flame hot Cheeto. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say flaming hot Cheeto. Yeah, yeah. So monster munch. It's a, it's a corn snack. Ours are in ours are in the shape of uh, monster body parts, which I think makes them probably better than a Cheeto. Um, and I don't think they. I don't think they ruin your fingers as much as a oh, Cheeto does, well, but uh, it's, def- it's definitely savourier than a honey uh-huh. roasted peanut, which means you got four, which is... Now, let me look for the correct adjective for that score. It is shit. Um, yeah, well done. You did great on these games tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, you say it's shit, but I would imagine we've, we've got quite a few people hit around the yeah. four or five. It, it yeah. seems a relatively yeah. popular... I think people crumble under the pressure. Only, only the likes of Jason can go like a. I mean, but Jason Cockroft has got the kind of nerves of steel that means he, he's he's capable of having an affair with his friend's <laughs> wife and and literally walking past his friend's window on the way to his liaison with his friend's wife while he's doing. He it. probably broke in and stole some some of the uh, Lego as well. Probably. It's suspicious that he... Leg- Legos is. The Legos is. Uh, yeah, well done. Yeah. It's suspicious that he didn't look up at me, to be honest. It is very suspicious, and it's suspicious that also, when you shouted for your wife, she didn't reply. Mm. Who knows? Yeah, I'm, I'm worried. Who knows what that scream was? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to leave an awkward silence there. Um, yeah, well, not bad, Logan. Stuart calls you shit, but you're in... A very popular group of people that I think end around the four or five mark. So don't beat yourself up. Don't don't you know tonight? Go and speak to your fiance and be like, oh. Do you just say? Do you just say in and around? Is that a super bad reference? Are you saying that? <laughs> are you referencing super bad because of Logan and Michael Sarah? And Stuart. <laughs> I wasn't, but I guess I probably should. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's pretty much our show, I think. Have you guys got anything else you want to bring up before I close this out? Tacos. Eat ta- ta- tacos. Eat a taco. Eat a taco. Right, do you know what? Suck I'm a going guac. To be, you know, chimichangas. Mm. Mm. What's the deal with chimichangas? Basically a burrito, isn't it? See, besides deep fried, it's not really a thing, is it, in this country? Mm, they used to do them at um, Chiquitos. That was where I first experienced Ch- a chimichanga. Is it Chiquito or is it Chiquitos? It's one of the two. Yeah. Chiquitoa. Yeah. Chiquitoa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just basically a, a fancy burrito, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've got nothing to say about them. Fun word, though, isn't it? Chimichangas. Chimichangas, Deadpool reference, so. Maybe that'll be the next show that Logan can come on and. Uh, he, maybe just every time yeah. Logan comes on, he sp- picks one p- specific part of the Mexican cuisine. Next up, the, the is Flouthers. Heavily referenced by Deadpool. Yeah. Flouthers. Flouthers next episode. What? Flouthers? Flouthers. Flouthers. What, are flou- what are flouters? Flouters are not only delicious. Let me look up the exact terminology so I can. Uh... I mean, it's, it's the German, it's the Italian word for flute. Correct. Uh, uh, a yeah, taquito, uh, tacos, dorados, roll taco, or flauta is a Mexican food dish that typically consists of a small rolled-up tortilla that contains filling, including beef, cheese, or chicken. The filled tortilla is then crisp-fried and or deep-fried. So it's like a small taco, but it's rolled Correct. up. Like a flute. That sounds almost like a dosa. Oh, well, then I'm going to have some dosa, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some flauta dosas. Mm. Fusion, fusion cuisine. There you go. Fusion. Have you f- have you fixed your phone, Michael? Because you've been really quiet. Yeah, sorry, I've been uh, doing the food review UK admin. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on our time. Yeah. I've, been, I've been listening and consuming all the information. You heathens. Pathetic. I just don't want to <laughs> tread over you. 
<laughs> for once. Pathetic. Um, so that's a wrap. No. <laughs> oh. 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 Thank you to Logan for joining oh. us. Um, you can obviously now tick guest on a British based podcast about food off the bucket list. Thank yes. you for coming on. Thank you for having me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. We'll, um, no doubt we'll have you on again some point in the future. Thank you. So get thinking about what you want to talk about next. Um, thanks also to MJ and Stuart for joining me and also the listeners uh, for, Correct. for letting us tickle your ears for yet another show. Um, be- There's no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why we didn't win the uh, British oh. Podcast Awards <laughs> <laughs> uh, be sure to hit oh. us up on social media with your taco thoughts and if you have any suggestions for the show because um, we're always open to a bit of fan interaction we always want to you know some ideas because you know that's where we steal them all from you guys uh, be sure to email us at frockcast at gmail.com that's the second time I've pimped it out on the show until next time Correct. be good people Bye. Thank you Adios. very much for listening, so. guys. Uh, check us out on Instagram at Fratgram, and be sure to comment on the bi-weekly post that we make showing the uh, thumbnail for the uh, podcast, uh, the subject, and asking for your questions, because you can guarantee that segment will be forgotten. <laughs> Each Eat and every food. week. Uh, uh. Oh, this is one. I mean, I'm in top top two most shambolic endings, <laughs> and we've got a long list of shambolic endings to pick from. <laughs> <laughs>